Hello lovely people. Today we are going to talk about fun engagement. Are you part of a fun team, fun committee? Yes? No? Well, stay tuned to know about fun engagement. So before we get into fun engagement, I want to recap a bit from the last video that I did about the 18 productivity tips. And I said, I'm going to use one or, one or two of them in my work life and see if they, that benefits me. Well, it didn't surprise me because it did benefit it. So the thing that I was not doing was I was, I was not telling people that I am busy from this time to this time. So I have implemented that. I've got a board on my table which says DND and then it lists, lists the item that I'm going to do and it's right in bold red letters that clearly shows people that I'm not available during that time and it has helped me by letting people know just by reading that and not disturbing me so I've got that two three hours of free time where I'm able to sort out my day really well I'm able to knock out all the actions that I have to do and then go back and do the regular stuff so it's really awesome. I encourage you all to go back and look at that video or go get a copy of the book and um, try to implement a couple of items from it. It's surely going to help you. Now coming back to today and fun engagement. So what's fun engagement, right? You would ask me, well, fun is fun. Engagement is basically engagement and not your marriage engagement, but it's about work. So how do you get engaged with fun at work? And that happens by having a group of people who drive such initiatives and they are called as fun club, fun committee, social committee, musty, musty team, musty, musty, whatever. You have 20,000 names that you can kind of nickname it. But there are a lot of things that kind of hover around in your mind, whether you are part of that team or whether you are a manager whose members are part of that team. So let's look at some of the questions that I have today and I would want to answer them for you guys. So the questions that I have uh, kind of listed here is number one is what is fun team and is it really important? Second question is should you hire someone from outside to do your events or you need to have a group of individuals within your company to run, so, run the show? The second one is is it an initiative from human resources or from upper management and then <laughs> how do you find your volunteers to run such a uh, group and uh, while finding such volunteers does their reporting manager play any role yes no why and then do the managers use this as a technique of uh, employee engagement and finally, as this question is becoming famous as the day goes by, what is in it for me? And this question is basically for the people who are going to be part of such committees. Uh, they do generally have such a question. And today, in today's world, I see uh, it is hugely asked. I don't know who coined it or who popularized it, but it is like massive today. What is in it for me? That's the question we need to answer with respect to fun team. So let's get going and look at what is fun club, right? So I'll talk about your professional setting, right? In your office setting, what happens? Everybody is like, well, what today's world, some people will be not in formal dressing, but in general, you are in business casuals or you're, you're busy in your work in a professional way you're working you're you're busy you're doing your things you're crunching numbers and whatnot but you and you might be friends with one or two people in your team but what about the next team what about the people sitting in the next building things like that you may not even know them so what happens is there is events some ice breaking events some team building events, some fun activities all these things happen for a reason and that is to bring people closer that is to bring people uh, in an informal environment without having a number hanging on them or a target uh, hanging for them uh, where they open up really be happy be transparent and not talk about work but about themselves and what they like what they don't like about 
and they open up with each other basically creates an environment where people become friend they kind of like to work with each other and then there the ice is broken then people know each other they they kind of are happier to work with they can help each other and whatnot so it, it is a very important aspect of today's world in professional life that such events are playing more and more uh, role now who who should run these events now you need to have somebody who can kind of oversee such events and hence you need a group of people to oversee such events uh, some companies don't want their employees to kind of be part of anything and they would just go outside and hire uh, vendors and some companies would uh, encourage volunteers from within the team to kind of come up and build a fun committee uh, and that's what or that's how the fun committee or fun team is born in any team or any organization now with that uh, should we hire a vendor even management company or should we have a group of people running the show for us so the answer is very simple you by default by default need a group of people overseeing things for you however if you have a large event a quarterly day out or a yearly uh, gala of an event then you need to have a professional event management company running that show however if you have a weekly monthly events where you just every Friday fun Friday something like that then your fun committee should be handling that and uh, obviously you won't have budgets to have uh, event managing company be hired for weekly basis so it's a good deal to have a group of people handle that event and uh, get it going so in my opinion it's a mix and match you need to have a group of people handling your fun committee and then for larger events this committee can kind of oversee the events handled by the professional vendor so that's about the question and uh, <coughs> whose initiative it is well um, it's it's an initiative from HR human resources they would kind of take up this activity but at times it is a kind of a request from a management team as well but uh, having said that none of these uh, designations or titles should own the fund committee fund committee needs to be an independent uh, group of people uh, running the show and uh, they should get help from every titles and guidance from uh, responsible people now when I say guidance human resources uh, HR managers people with a lot of experience in motivation and uh, employee engagement should guide the fund committee to run some events and help them and and guide them and the only responsibility from upper management or a higher management is to sign the budgets not more just approve things how do you get the volunteers to kind of join the cause well it's pretty simple somebody needs to send out an invite to people asking to join the fund committee that's uh, invite open letter to the employees and people would kind of sign up and uh, be part of the committee now while they come in and be part of the committee there obviously needs to be some kind of a check where someone who's already a pre-existing committee members or your human human resources people would kind of uh, discuss the needs of the committee and if there is any kind of a um, dilemma some uh, confirmation needs to be made then in that case reporting manager of that uh, volunteer needs to be checked and see if that person is the right fit for the job and if yes why not right now this uh, situation where you have to check with their uh, reporting manager leads to the next question which is do managers in today's world use fund committee fund members or nominating their employees as a member of fund committee or lead of fund team uh, as a technique to uh, engage employees well uh, sadly i've seen this happening and uh, when certain managers don't really know how to engage or how to delegate right task to their performing employees so that they can work and uh, build their careers further 
if this manager doesn't know then they would kind of fall in the trap of nominating this individual as a fun committee member or a fun committee leader and be f and then that manager would feel okay I've given him the opportunity let him her or her showcase their talent well that's not the right place number one and uh, <clears throat> the only the only criteria one should look for in a person to be part or be the lead of a fun committee is basically motivation how motivated that person is self-motivation is the key in in, in this uh, job role if you want to talk about how motivated the person is do you really need to go and tell him to do her do his or her job or they're really excellent at it they don't need anybody to push them they always bring a smile in uh, their neighbor's face they're always great to work with they're always pumped up that's the guy or girl you're looking for for your committee and then while you uh, engage someone for that committee role uh, you gotta set the right expectations with them as to what they should be getting out of it right and that comes to the question which is what is in it for me a question that I think has been co coined in recent past and is the most important question for everyone and uh, I think I wrote an article about it on LinkedIn if you want to kind of look at it you can go go through it it's a story that I narrated there Similarly, in this zone, when we're talking about fun committee, fun members, the answer to previous question that you need to have the, the set of criteria that you're looking for is motivation. And that kind of gives you the answer to this question also. If you have a person who is really motivated, they will never ask this question, number one. And we also need to get out of this zone or this notion of either being paid extra or being recognized, rewarded, for everything that we do I mean that's really absurd in today's world there are higher gains that we are getting by being part of a committee such as a fun club uh, you don't need to look up look out for money or for promotions or for recommendations or awards of any kind uh, if you're part of a fun club uh, or you're leading a fun activity you are basically getting a higher results when I say higher results I've noted down some of them over here and they are kind of you get a happier work environment you get to work with your friends you have a place where communication is really open competition is healthy nobody is hiding things from each other and brilliant teamwork now with all of this what happens is that you build a circle of trust you trust each other it's a very solid thing to have don't lose it and you get to do that you as a volunteer of fun committee get to produce all of this you get to bring this into your team you get to kind of build this in your company this is this has much higher results than money or or anything else so that's what I feel or that's what I wanted to cover today with uh, fun engagement I hope you all were fun engaged with this video so I thank you for your time for watching my video today and hope uh, some of these ideas would be or some of these answers would help you clear your doubt or your mind hope to see you next week with another episode of free stuff see you now bye bye